Well, guys, I dropped the ball. Well, not didn't really. I kind of did it on purpose. I just didn't have time to video the rest of the assembly. I just was hauling ass. I got here about six this morning, and it's almost six now. Cause I got this one here to come in here tomorrow, and I got I made him a deal that you know he was gonna pay me cash to reseal the front structure, and I was like I couldn't pass it up. I just couldn't pass up a cash deal. So, and he's a good friend. I worked with that guy for a lot of years. He's a good guy. Anyway, so uh, I'm putting a vacuum on the AC system right now, and I've had it running quite a while. But we'll just see. It. You can hear it, I guess. This one here, the check engine light. It should go out after a little bit after we start it. It should go out. Oh, that's good. Okay, well guys, yeah, it's, uh... So what happened was I got here this morning and uh, I had the head on it and I had... Let's see, I got here this morning and I had to put the... I had to put the front gear train, you know, do the just idler gear and then the... The... Cam gear on it. And then, uh... Boy. Is that normal? I never realized the air... I guess that's why they call it a charge air cooler. Man, that's hot. <clears throat> anyway, should be cooler when it comes out over here, right? Oh, look at that. It's cool over here. Maybe that's why they call it a charge air cooler. Uh, anyway, um, just a ton of work. Anyway, I got to the... I was putting the overhead together after I got my gear train back together because you want your gear train together before you put your rockers on that way you know when you're on these you'll put your your uh, rear rocker on usually first if you well it depends on where you're on the crankshaft rotation but on a mark one of those rocker shafts will set down in the saddle is real flat and then you go to the B mark and you can put the other ones on but anyways it's got all new so it's got all new rocker rollers, but I went to put it together this morning and the uh, damn Jake followers weren't in the boxes here. Look at the pile of shit there, huh? And uh, I called Tom and sure shit. He said, well, we got them in stock. I dropped the ball on that, but we got them in stock. So big thing with these, uh, when you put new, put new, uh, followers uh, jake followers on you really got to check most of the time when you're setting the jakes on these isx's you don't have to worry too much about the running clearance because it's already preset some you know unless somebody's twisted the rocker shafts in it um but when you put them new you got to make sure that you've got good running clearance so you'll see this little deal that'll go down that, that's that'll run down into a detent and you'll rock that forward to the detent to the neutral position then you'll take a feeler gauge between the between the cross head and here and then you should have 25 to 110 thousand so you got a pretty good margin there but uh i'm missing a freaking washer for the battery box i i did a bonehead move i was i was pulling the battery cables and i got to the last one on this end i looked over there well there's two battery disconnects are right there anyway i gotta just uh I'm gonna be picking up, picking up tools while the AC vacuum pump's pulling a vacuum on it. 
I'm gonna charge the air conditioner and uh, I'm gonna go home. And then I got a 7330 that I'm gonna try to get to it about daylight tomorrow morning. And it's got a bunch of, it's got turbo actuator faults and all kinds of stuff going on. So that's obviously a CAN bus problem. Uh, and then I gotta tackle this front structure on this CM, this is a CM870. I in framed this one a long time ago, but. He needs uh, metering actuators on the IFSM too because it smokes a lot at idle. Uh, but we're just going to get his leak fixed for now. He's hauling strawberry plants, and that's a pretty good paying gig, you know. And those guys run hard when they're hauling strawberries, and they make good money. So you want to keep him going so he can keep that cash flow coming in. Ah, uh, anyways, guys, I'm sorry I didn't video much. I just was, it was all I could do to get done what I've gotten out done now, and I'm just. I'm spent. <laughs> I'm whipped. I'm ready to charge the AC on this thing, and I'm hauling ass to the house. And uh, I'll come back tomorrow morning after I look at the 7330. Well, the hoods on these W900s are so easy to put on. They're easier than the Peterbilts are. And I like the way they did these hoods on these. And uh, slam the hood on it, zip tie all the hood wires and all that shit back up where they're supposed to go. And. Uh, Pull it out of here, clean up the disaster, uh, go fill the dumpster up with garbage, and then back the peat in here, and then we'll work on it. That front structure, we should be able to knock that out in a good eight or ten hours tomorrow and be done with it. So, anyway, it is what it is.